weeks ago, I got the 12. Two weeks ago, we didn't have this up here. Ah. So it was just like, I think, less than a week old. Okay, so I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll contact them. Yeah, contact but, them. But, but or not, they'll, not they'll, over they'll the air yet. Not over the air okay. yet, but probably if you wait another week, Chris and the service team will just probably give you a call to come back. I think that's what they, they said. Uh, so they looked at the release notes and they said, you know, there's nothing that... Plus, I have to leave my car. They have to give me another one. It takes mm -hmm. a day or two. The software takes a long time to load. Yeah. He, he, he said, he said we'll contact you when... He thought over the air was going to be maybe later in the year. And he goes, mm -hmm. maybe once that's available, yeah. that's when you should come in and spend the time to do that. Yeah, but that makes sense. If, if, if he's got 14, I'll give, him, I'll give him a call. Yeah, yeah, we do have 14 ready to go. It's... This guy's kind of... I'll, I'll let him sit there. It's okay. He, he probably doesn't know that we're trying to pull out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the the only thing, uh, the uh, I've noticed on the Vietnamese websites, mm -hmm. they can install the power lift gate. There's a whole bunch of companies that do that in Vietnam. Oh, like aftermarket, you mean? No, they're they're using they're using the uh, OEM. It's called Ellie Gate. Huh. I talked to the guy at service. So Ellie Gate makes the power thing that te the that Vintest uses. Yeah. Um, so, and the forums, you go to any of the Vietnamese forums and they're installing all these things. And I, and I called, I emailed the company, I go, can I, can you ship it to the US? And they're like, nah, we can't. Can you ship or something to the US? Bravo, I'm not sure what the Mr. Tesla guy is doing there. I, I, I don't want to honk at him. Oh, he's leaving. We're just trying to be polite. Okay. All right. Oops. Oops. No, 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 don't block us now. Don't block us now. Oh, he's gonna try to back it up. Oh, this I gotta see. No, he's gonna take. He's gonna take the side of that car off. Watch, watch. Mm. There he goes. There he goes. He's Ooh. gonna knock off that mirror. Oh wow. <laughs> you okay back there, sir? Yeah. The, uh, sea coolers. Very all? nice. I like. Yeah, the AC is blowing very nice, gently in the back. We just don't want anybody to be hot. Here. Are you uh, plan to uh, upgrade to the uh, VF9 eventually, sir? I have a deposit on the VF9. So nice. I put a deposit on the VF8 when they came out at the LA Auto oh, no. Show, so like three years ago. Uh huh. Um, and they honored the deposit, even though I bought it in February. They 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 put the three thousand dollar credit on my on my. Uh, on my uh, invoice, so. Yes. Nice, nice. Uh -huh. I, had I had deposits on everything. I see. <laughs> so, not yeah. very fundable, right? No big deal. Uh, early conversation that you uh, own your eco, the orange co uh, color, the, o sorry, o the over the year, right? Uh, you know, uh, earlier you have a, you mentioned that you have the, the, the orange car, you had the VFA for, for over the year, right? Is, am, 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 I, am I correct? No, I, I just got this one in, in, in uh, February. Oh, in February. February of this year. Got it, got it, okay. So, no, I was saying that the, I think I was mentioning to Han that the, when I got the car, I looked at the manufacturing date and it was March of the year before. So my yeah. car was a year old. Yeah. So I'm like, it's, it's been sitting somewhere for a year. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So uh, I, I asked the guys when I dropped off the service, I go, if they could just look at the bushings or something, anything that's been sitting for a year, it's probably not a good thing. It's understandable. Uh, there's yeah. rust on my wiper in the back. Uh -huh. They said they can't do anything about it for now, but uh -huh. um, but I said, it, you know, it's... Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what the first thing, uh, um, there's a lot of EV out there, and what make you uh, chose that your VFA? We're just so, talking about this too. Yeah, yeah, so, we, so uh, I'm on my third electric car, so I've had, I had a Honda Clarity seven years ago, all electric. Um, I, I, I used to travel a lot, so I used to have to go to LAX. So I needed a car that could get me to the carpool lane. So I had a couple Chevy Volts. I've had Corvettes for years, so so, so I've been to the Chevy dealer a lot. So when the Volt first came out in 2010, I got one of the Chevy Volts, uh, just so I could get into the carpool lane. So that was a hybrid. Uh, you know, the Chevy Volt's a hybrid. Uh, then the newer one came out. I got that one. Um, but then electric cars started started uh, coming out more. Um, um, even Chevy was announcing an electric car. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what? the Honda Clarity was the first all electric, and uh -huh. so what, what? Honda was trying to move those. They're like so cheap. They're like a buck ninety nine. You know, yeah, nine hundred dollar down. It's, just, just right. it's, it's, it's like, come on, it's, it's so cheap. So I got that uh -huh. one. It was a nice car. It's a Honda. It's, it worked worked perfectly. Easy to charge and all that. 
Um, I'm sure. But then three, three years later, three years later in 2020, I needed a bigger car. I wanted all electric. I didn't want a hybrid. I didn't want anything. Um, the only thing that was available, it was either the Nissan Leaf, which is just a crappy tiny little car, or the the uh, Kia Niro EV. Um, mm, they make three, but I got the EV. Yeah. Um, three years ago, people didn't care about electric cars, right? <laughs> Not really. Uh -huh. the, the car was like seventy dollars a month. <laughs> it was just oh, they had so many rebates, so many things. I'm like, oh, and the car been sitting there for like nine months at the dealership. Wow. Nobody was buying electric cars back then. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll get the car for seventy dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got the oh, and the Tesla Y wasn't coming out yet. It didn't come out till like I got that in like in November. Mm. The Tesla Y wasn't coming out till later. Three later was year. And you didn't know about the Y, right? I mean, yeah. you, you didn't know how what it was how good it was going to be. Um, so three years came up and my lease expired. I'm like, I need a new car. So I started looking. Um, now there's, three years later, there's tons of cars, right? Yeah. So it was down to eight cars. I looked at the um, the new Kia, obviously the new EV, the new uh, EV, the new Nero EV. It's the same car, they just changed the body. Uh, the EV6 is obviously different, but that's right. a different car. Hey, a couple, couple of cyber trucks. Ooh, um, oh, wow. I like that color. <laughs> I like the, I like the green. Those things are crap. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, many, so many issues. <laughs> There's so many issues with the thing. The cyber truck, right? Almost it's because right they did rush the car. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You get it. I, I, I love people that complain about the VF8 and then somebody will put something about the Tesla Cybertruck. Like, yeah, it's like you get all the... The, the guy that got it, like, you know, 50, 50, 50 miles later, the thing just broke down itself. You know, it's just... Um, um, oh, so I had the uh, the two the two Kias, uh, the Hyundai Kona, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, Volkswagen 94, oh, the Tesla cool. Y, yeah. uh, the VF8, and the Mustang Mach E. Those are the cars yes. that I was that I was looking at. I think I drove a couple of hydrogen cars, the Nexo and all that, but they're just complicated. Good thing you didn't get it. <laughs> I live close to one of the hydrogen stations, so I didn't like those. I needed something that could tow a little more. Um, the EV, the Nero EV can't tow. The EV6 can tow just 1,500 pounds, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's it, it and the EV6 is a is a it's not a tall car. It's really 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 light. Really, 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 Yes, the GT is spectacularly fast. That's the one they gave me. I went to the test driver, like, they gave me the GT. I'm like, I don't want the GT. Of course the they GT. did. Like, <laughs> the GT. I'm like, I, pu I pulled up in my Corvette. They're like, the GT. I'm like, I'm not going to buy the GT, but sure, give me the keys. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it is a fast car. Uh, um, earlier, you mentioned that you're going to put on the hitch for your VFA, right? Yeah, you so, plan to so, tow so that, like that, a, was, a that was my criteria. So the, the Kona can't tow, the Ionic can't tow, or tows very, very little. Right. The Mustang, I'm pretty sure the Mustang can't tow at all. If oh. I recall correctly, uh, it, it, it has no towing capability whatsoever. Um, oh, and it's just a crappy car. Now, I didn't like it the way it drove. And, and I've owned a couple Mustangs. I mean, I like Mustangs. Um, oh, and they were really expensive, right? I mean, they were like in the $700 yeah, range. It was just cheap. stupidly, yeah. stupidly expensive. Um, oh, they didn't get the full rebate. They didn't get $700, whatever. Okay, so it was down to ID4, Tesla Y, and the VF8. And I've driven this a couple times. Um, and then, then it was down to the towing capacities, right? I mean, they were all, you need at least 2,500 pounds. I've, ne I've never done any towing, but I was looking at what I was gonna tow. So 2,500 seems to be the minimum to tow something fairly, you know, fairly good size. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my criteria. So the ID4 is 2,700, the right. Tesla Y is 35, this is 4,000 pounds. Um, and again, this was $400, $500, and $600. So that, that right. was the price range. But when they lowered this, so because I wasn't sure, my lease expired, but I called Kia Finance and they let you extend it, right? Yeah. So I'm like, can I go month to month? They're like, yeah, you can go month to month. I'm like, good, okay. So I had I had till till six more months, month to month. So I'm, I'm just looking, waiting, seeing what else is coming out. The Lyric came out. I went to the auto show, drove a whole bunch of cars. Um, the Lyric, I, the Lyric was maybe okay, but it's a it's Cadillac. Nice, but it's had, up had, there had lots of problems. Um, <laughs> and I don't like it. It's a weird looking car. Yeah. Um, and then I'm always on the lease hacker forum. That, and somebody posted that they were lowering the lease to 250. I'm like 250. Mm, and you go. always think there's a catch, right? Oh, that's got to be for you know 250, no money down. There's always a catch, right? Every there, dealership, there really every though. dealership. <laughs> does. But the dealerships do that, right? You can't yeah. find anything they, like they, that. They right? always yeah, give you the price the for like the crappiest car in the lot. And then when you show up, you're like, oh no no, that's 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 just a crappy car. Well, you want the nicer one? That's a lot more money. I'm like, ah. yeah. And so I, I went to see David again, and I, I'm like, you know, I stop by and go, just explain the lease to me. I mean, yeah. what's the catch? Mm. Is it 250 and then I got to pay for the heated seats like a BMW? I got to pay for this. I got to pay. For... He goes, no, it's, it's that's the price. Yeah. 
that's the money down for that car. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And then we then we couldn't we couldn't find a plus in orange. I mean, once I once I saw the cars, and, and I I like I the heads up display. I mean. I don't care what you say. Once you see this heads-up display, you're never driving a car without a heads-up display. Yeah, that's I mean, correct. I think I, I mentioned on my first car was a in 1998. I had a Corvette. My first Corvette had the heads-up display. First car in the United States with a heads-up display. Oh wow! At the time. Once you see that, you're like, if you're driven a car like this, and then you see that, you're like, this is just incredible. I mean, look at the. <laughs> And I have some customers that t turn that off, so they say it's too fine. distracting, if you, which is crazy. If you don't want it, yeah, turn it off. Exactly. Push the little button, turn it off. But so, when I drive it, so in the Corvette, the reason for the heads-up display, it had these, the speed, of course, but it also had the RPM. Mm -hmm. Because Corvettes, when you track a Corvette, when you, yeah. when you take it to a racetrack, what happens if you redline the Corvette? That's a $10,000 yeah, engine job, right? Yeah. Especially if it's a manual shifted car. Right. When you're on a racetrack and you're going 150 miles an hour, is it a good idea to look down at your gauge? No, it's not. Right. <laughs> because you can hear the engine, but it's so smooth that sometimes you don't realize you're that close. Right. But if, you see, if you're looking at that and you see, the, you see the, the needle coming up to the thing, you shift. You see the needle come up, you shift. You yeah. it, paddle shifting or this thing. So that's that's the reason for the heads-up display, not the speed. The speed is nice because then I know that I'm not speeding, right? I know that I'm going 37 miles an hour. I'm not going over the speed limit. But the reason the Corvette was to for people that track the cars so that it went, it wouldn't go over. It was just it was just just the speed and just the RPM. That's all I had. And the the, the little uh, temperature uh, of, of the engine. Right. Um, so you're saying. But now gonna... now I mean when I drive this car, the heads-up display. My favorite part is when I drift over and the little light turns red. The little line turns red. Yeah, that's the drive aid. Because it. sometimes I don't, you know, you get distracted, you look over for a little bit, it, 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 you can also vibrate, it also chimes. Right. But it's so easy. I'm just looking at the car in front of me, right? My peripheral, if I drift over a little bit, uh, oh, it's not turned on. Uh, it may not, yeah, may, it may not be enabled. We, we, we if I drift it. over a little bit, I see that the right side red turns, turns on. What does that mean? What does that tell me? It tells me go to the left. If I see the left one goes on, it says tell me to go that way. And and I love the the um, the steering and all that. I mean, it's it's just perfect. Yeah. What I didn't realize is that when you put in the address, the it's the map shows up there. It was. That yeah. is the. And it, I don't think it's advertised in any of your brochures. Mm, I don't really think it not. says that it is. That's why we should highlight the heads up display I, more because that's one of my should, favorites. You should because th yeah. that is. Of all the other points that the Tesla has, so so so, I was telling Han or the lady. So if you said, why is this car better than the Tesla? If they were both the same price, forget the charging. Yes, Tesla, you can charge more places than that. But once Tesla's opened up to this car, like, that's that's trivial, right? Yeah. Um, on the plus, you have so the Tesla has that huge glass. I but hate you that can't thing. Open it just, up. You can't open it up, yeah. and you have to cover it somehow, right? Yeah. Right. Um, this one, obviously, you can open it up. Um, the heads-up display, Tesla doesn't have that, right? And not even the X. The X has a little, the little dash there. Those yeah. two things, enough would be, would make the VF8 better than that. But you know what makes it even better? The 360 camera. 360 the camera three, and so, the so, ambient lighting too. So, let's not forget. For example, yeah. how often have you scratched your tires? Not very often, okay. I would say. But it happens, right? It happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really hard for me to tell how far I am from that curb, right? Yeah. So when I go to park, there I do go. that. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. I don't know how much these rims are. Corvette rims are freakishly expensive. Yeah, these are not cheap either. <laughs> they're not. Cor they're not. They're not. You know, fifteen hundred dollars for it. There so, is it. So, so look at that. Yeah. So right there. there. We go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. so Can I tell where my can I tell where my rim is here? You, you, you've seen on the Tesla forums, they scratch the rims a lot. There's companies yeah. that sell those little... Here, I don't need that. Look. Yeah, you don't need those Can covers. the Tesla do that? Right. No, it cannot, because their cameras are pointing for the front. Yeah. They have they have the uh, the sentry mode. Mm -hmm. That that alone is going to save me time, money, hassle, and all that, because right. I can I can do that. Oh, and I love the parking thing. Obviously, the 360... So I'll run it when I'm when I'm in motion. I'll yeah. put it in that. Mm -hmm. So I'll have that. As I move, obviously it turns off. But then when I slow down, I can see where my car is. 
Correct. The Tesla doesn't do that. So obviously it's going to turn off, right? Because I'm, I'm going at a certain speed. Right? It turns off. It has to, but then the, as, I, as I pull up somewhere, right? As I pull up to a stoplight or something. Mm -hmm. I pull up to a stoplight. Boom! It comes right back on there. I like nice. Very nicely done. Yeah. And I can see that I'm perfectly centered. I can see where the car is. I can like see that. all that. Really Tesla that. can't do that. Yeah. So just those three things alone, to me, would make it a better car yeah. than the Tesla Y. But you're also saving money, right? I mean, the, yeah. the, so a lot of people say the Tesla Y, they'll compare it to the rear-wheel drive one. This is not a rear-wheel drive car. The all-wheel drive, I think the rear-wheel drive is like 429 or something. The all-wheel drive is like another 150. It's it's yeah, almost 600. Dollars. It's almost 600 dollars a yes. month. Yes. Um, so, the Tesla Y doesn't have those features. It's 600 dollars a month. Mm -hmm. This car is what now? It's what the three three something three something three thirty nine. Yeah, right? So you're mm -hmm. you're already saving almost 300 dollars. Mm -hmm. You have all these features that your car doesn't have. Are you going to use these features every single day that you drive it? Yes, I'm going to use a heads-up display every single time I get into yes. it. Mm -hmm. Am I going to use this every single time? Yes, I'm going to use it every single time. Mm -hmm. Am I going to use this every single time? Yes, if you want the air, you're going to use it every single time. Okay, so those are the three ones. But the but the deal breaker. Oh, we updated that. It's now over here. No, <laughs> no, you took it. What? What? I can't. I can't. I know. Oh, there you go. This. Yep. This. Android Auto or people Apple that Carpet. say that this is not necessary, they don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Can I, if you challenged me to find an address on my phone versus on the screen, who's gonna win? Yeah. The phone, because I use my phone every single time. Mm -hmm. oh. Tesla doesn't have that. No CarPlay. Yes. No CarPlay, no, no Android Auto. Um, I, t I told uh, Han that I borrowed the Plus from service. Because I, I didn't I didn't Bluetooth myself, I just connected it with the cable, right? Yeah. And it and it connected to the Android Auto. I disconnected the phone. I had it for a couple days. Mm -hmm. I got back in the car, my phone was on here, and it automatically went to Bluetooth all by itself. Oh nice. I didn't do nice. anything. I'm like, yeah. that is just great, great software. Mm -hmm. Get on the forums, the Volkswagen, the lyrics, they all complain about Android Auto not working, mm -hmm. it drops out, it does this. I'm like I didn't have to do anything. I mean, yeah. I don't know how the VinFest engineers got it to work, but it works mm. seamlessly. Yeah. And you're telling me that you don't need Android Auto? I mean, nice. so the car has more features. It's cheaper. Oh, and then I saw this, uh, I think Natalie said this on one of the, Natalie Lee uh, on one of the forums. She goes, the reason she picked, I think she had Teslas before. She goes, the reason yeah. I picked my car is because I don't want to walk out of a restaurant and not be able to find my car because it's full of Teslas. I don't even know which one is mine. Especially up north. Like, which one's yeah. my car? Now they have a wrap, so they know which car Literally, they belong to them. If you don't yeah. remember where you parked, you walk out and you go, fuck, which one of these is mine? Yeah. <laughs> like, they're, 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 look, there's a Y right there. You're like, they're all exactly identical. Yeah. Personally, I don't like the Y. I don't think it's a good looking car. I don't like it. This yeah. car, it's Pininfarina, come on, I mean. True. He designs Ferraris. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just a good, it's a, Ferrari. Of, of all the complaints I've seen on the internet, of all the problems that the car has, nobody has said that it's an ugly car. Yeah. There's not one person that has said that it's it's an ugly looking car. Everybody says it's a great looking car. Everybody, universally, it's a great looking car. Great looking car. It's a great it's a great looking car. Can I uh, add my uh, comment on this? Everything you shared here, sir. You know. Yes. I believe. Course. Then uh, Tesla, all the feature they added to the car, they charge to the, the customer, to the client, right? They do, yes. So, so, so what I can see here that they more can, they more benefit to the to the company, to the, the manufacturer, right. to all the money go to the manufacturer. Yes. Here, all the feature I the, the even didn't more all good. more more to uh, concern about the, the client, the customer. Yeah. So that's why they give all the feature of coming with the car, you know. So, so with. With that, you know, to that you can see that Vinfast, I, I believe that giving the people more the feature without additional cost compared to Tesla. If you're a billionaire, sure, you don't care about money. But the rest of us, I care about how much I have to spend. I don't have billions yeah. sitting in the bank. Uh -huh. I, I think most of us, we you know, we, we look at what we spend every day. I mean, I don't want to spend more than I have to. So if if a car gives me more features for less money. Lexus did that 30 years ago, right? Yeah. 
the LS400. It was just everything the Mercedes offered for half the price, right? That's yeah. that's what the Lexus LS was. Yeah. Can I ask you, it's, sir? That's, that's what the VinFest. This to last, me, the VF8 uh, last is year, last more features than the Tesla at a lower price. Right. Mm -hmm. what, what more could you want? I mean, last year when you can I ask you, sir, that last year when you uh, first looked into the uh, you know additional EV for your family, so what made you think? Uh, you're going to VinFast at that time. Who introduced you in, into VinFast? Oh, can, so uh, so. Can you share the story with us? Yeah, yeah. No, so so I I don't have. Um, I, I'm just single. So I'm 62. My wife died many years ago. I don't have any kids. They're all they're all gone. So it's just me that, that, that I have to worry about. Um, so I just needed I needed a car, and I want my criteria for a car is it has to be all electric because it's cheap. I can charge for free everywhere, and gas is getting so expensive, right? I mean. My neighbor, we were, we were, we, she, she, she saw the car and she's like, "What, what is this electric thing?" And she has a one of the SUVs, right? I go, I go, "What, what do you, what mileage do you get?" She goes, "Ah, maybe like 17 miles to the gallon." <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and I go, "You know what? For four dollars, I can go a hundred miles <laughs> on electric yeah. for four dollars." Not wrong. I go, "How much would it cost you to go a hundred miles?" She goes, "Well." 20 miles to the gallon, roughly, divided by 100, that's five, right? Mm -hmm. Five gallons. Mm -hmm. Let's just say $6 a gallon. How much money is that? Yeah. $30. Sure. $30 that she has to spend, and I can do it for $4. Wow. But this morning, I was at the Kia dealership charging my car for free. They have a fast charger that's free from Green Points. Oh. So I was wow. just watching the movie while I was charging for free. So. I want electric because I know that I can charge it for free at, the, at work, at home. We could turn right here. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't cost me any, any, any amount of money. So that was my criteria. I wanted a car that was all electric. All electric. Um, I needed something that would tow, and I needed something that would uh, that would be obviously an SUV. I don't, I don't want to well, sit I'm down. I'm glad this checked all your boxes because that, that all makes sense. It did. Right? And, and I knew about them because I'd seen them at the at the uh, at the auto show at the LA auto show. Did you see us um, in 2022 then? I believe before delivery. The first time you came out. Ah, um, wow. So yeah, that's way before delivery. I know personally, a lot of people just look at cars and they go, "I don't care what the car looks like." Yeah. I'm not like that. I want to drive. If you gave me an ugly car, I wouldn't drive it for free. <laughs> I mean, that's just sure. I drive Corvettes because they're, they're they're good looking cars. Yeah. I, I buy a certain color because I want to drive a good looking car. That's me personally. Some people go, nah, I don't get this car. I go, no, I, I don't want to drive an ugly car. I just don't. So when I looked at this car at the auto show, I'm like, this is a good looking car. I mean, it's, it's got, I, I like I like the the front, the way they did the lights. I like the way they did all the moldings. I like the way in the back. It looks really nice. Every time I see a Y, I don't think it's a good looking car. Yeah. I don't think it's a good looking car. We're, we'll see a Y in just a second. Personally, nobody's ever said that the Y is a good looking car. So when I saw these at the auto show, when you go to the auto show, what what's... What attracts you to cars, other than the pretty models? <laughs> there's, there's, there's always some pretty girl next to the car. But if the car's a good-looking car, you might, oh, that's a good, that's a good-looking Jaguar. You know, you, you're, you're attracted to a pretty car. We all yeah. are, right? We're yeah. human beings, right? We see something pretty, we're attracted to it. Uh, you see an ugly car, are you attracted to it? No, I'm not. I mean, I, I, I see no. something. I see something ugly. I go, yeah, I, don't, I don't. I don't want to drive that. That's just an ugly-looking car. So, uh, so I, I remember looking at them, and I know they were coming out. But but the, I think at the auto show they were saying that they were going to come out the next year, but they didn't come out. Then they delayed another year. Then they were talking about the battery subscription. That, that didn't that didn't make sense to me. Yeah, they I'm never glad did that. Never made it to the US, and I'm like, but so they, it, 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 they weren't doing a really good job of marketing the car or doing that. So <coughs> I, I was, but but I, I knew they were they were they were available. Um, so in when I started looking at cars, so I usually start looking three months before my lease expires, just so I have enough time to drive and all that. And the LA Auto Show is typically right in Orange County and LA Auto Show is typically right around July, June, August. So I can drive cars and look at look at all the cars that are coming out. Um, I don't think you were at the auto show this this year. I don't think no, we uh, we missed out on the LA Auto Show for twenty three. Yeah, but you, we were at CES for this you, year. You weren't there. Uh, so obviously everybody was there. Tesla was there. Everybody was there, right? Um, so I just made my list of cars, you know, and, and I, 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 re, I, I just put my list of cars. I just went to all the dealerships and drove all the cars. Mm -hmm. Vinfast was there. I went to the Arbor and Spectrum, drove the car. I'm like, personally, I, I think it rides very nicely. I don't, I don't. Uh, 
I've seen on the forums that people complain that it's stiff and all that. I, I didn't think, again, maybe because I'm a, depends on where you're coming from. If you come from a very soft car, yeah. maybe you think the VF8, the 2023 is stiff. Um, but I drive Corvettes all the time. So to me, I mean, Corvettes are freaking stiff. I mean, I'm used to that. It, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't like cars that are soft because it just feels like you're not in control because the car is just floating all over the place. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I drove the when I drove this car, and, and Irvine's nice and smooth, right? There's no, yeah. there, there's, there's nothing. Um, but, but, I, but I think I told David, I go, I go, you don't mind if I, some of the on-ramps, I want to go a little fast. <laughs> he goes, yeah, go as fast as you want. Evan, uh, um, since you, you share a lot of good uh, uh, you know, story, good story about the VinFast, the products. So so in order for, for, for VinFast to uh, uh, focus on uh, what exactly you think that the, uh, um, for, for, for them to last in America for the next five years, 10 years, 25 years? Like yeah, so yeah, what could so we observe? What, so yeah. I, I was telling John, if I, if I was your, your business manager, um, and, and I used to do that for a living, so the the goal is to sell more of these cars, right? Obviously the goal is. Um, yes. Your your target is the Tesla Y, right? You you want a portion of their cars. They sold, what, 1.3 million last Too year? Many. Okay. <laughs> you You want... You sold what? Three thousand last year at most in the United States. Um, you want I would more, say then, right? Yes. Um, I think the latest financial said that uh, you want to sell a hundred thousand cars. Yeah, that's in the U.S. this year. Okay. So if that's the goal. Oh, you've seen the sales figures of all the other cars, right? There, there's there's something Recently, today. Yeah. It's, it's Everybody is like in the thousands of cars, right? Yes. <laughs> the ID four is like eight hundred. The the the, the mark. So. The only people you're trying to beat is Tesla, right? If you yeah. could get a hundred thousand of their cars, that that would meet your sales goal, right? That's what you want. So how do you how do you get somebody that's looking at a Tesla to look at a VF8? Um, the features that I told you that the car has. So if people just look at the car, right? There's a there's a Tesla. I mean, how is that different than this? I would find maybe run commercials or run some ads or, or more more driving events so yeah if if um you've got several dealerships right a lot, lot of dealerships in there maybe do a do a demo of cars and coffee every single week oh you've done this right so companies have done this i've done this before um you go out to an event uh, typically around a stadium or something where you can drive a little fast, there's a little concourse. Sure. The company brings other cars from other vendors. Right, Chevy's done this. So I would bring out a Tesla Y, I would bring out a VF8, I would bring out an ID4 and let people drive them. Yeah. If you, if you just invite them, right? <coughs> BMW likes to do this a lot. They call it the ultimate driving experience, right? BMW right, does right, right, this right. They constantly, them. all the time. Um, they have other cars there, you drive the BMW. So if you wanted, it, it, because people don't look at media, they don't look at Facebook. It's hard to, how do you gauge a car just by looking at a, at a video? Right. Um, so I would say if somebody said, well, what should we do to sell 100,000 cars? I would go, you know what? All the dealerships, you've got what, 13, 15 in, 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 in California? They need to start setting up events, monthly minimum. If they could do weekly events, that would be great. Like right. every weekend, mm -hmm. yeah. just invite people to Santa Ana Race Park, whatever have I think you just need three cars because it's either the right now it's the ID4 it's a Tesla Y or it's this one yeah. there's no other car that people would look at on the forums people are saying the Ionic 5 not the same car yeah um, Canto doesn't have a, the, the price point is wrong um, the, the the Kona the Nero those things are it's freaking small. tiny there yeah. you, you don't need that uh, the Lyric not not the same car the Lyric is a different car um, and that thing is freaking pricey. It's 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 what it's what. That thing's like eight hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If you if if you could if you could have more cars, the better. But if if the budget doesn't allow for that, I would say get on the rate. forums mm -hmm. yeah. somehow. Send invitations to people. Um, oh, what BMW? They would always give out something, right? Like a thermos or a jacket or something, right? right? You would just say that on the on the on the page. So sometimes I would just. I wasn't even going to buy a BMW. <laughs> they, would, they would just say they're going to give you like you know thermos. You're like, yeah, sure, I'll go for it. Three. <laughs> so you show up, you drive the car in the little cor course, and they give you a thermos. You're like, okay, thank you. See you later. Right. Um, okay. So something that gets them to come out there. But maybe I came out just for the thermos, right? But maybe I drive. Oh, you know what? I went out for one event, 
and I didn't even know they had electric electric sedans. Right. I, because I don't look, BMWs are not my car. Yeah. I just went out to get the free mug, but you got to drive the car, right? right. So, so like we got into a car. I'm like, what is this? So the guy's next to me. He goes, it's an electric. It's an electric sedan. I'm like, electric. I BMW thought, has an electric car. He goes. Yeah. I go hybrid. He goes, no, 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 it's all electric. It's the I don't even know the i4. The i4. I4. Yes. Yeah. And they had a little concourse, right? The autocross. And I've done a lot of track days. So the person in front of me, they t- they <laughs> nice. take off. And then I take off. And we catch them. <laughs> like, the guy's like, I could see the guy thinking we're going to run off the course. He's like, he's like, you've driven before, haven't you? Like, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> we, we caught that person so fast. He goes, he goes, just let him get away. <laughs> he, yeah. goes, you're, you're driving. he goes, you're driving too fast for us. And I'm like, this is... I was impressed at this little electric car. Yeah, that's like the Ooh. first model too. And it was, it was, they make it a really tight course because they don't want people running off of it at high speeds. So I was like cornering really, really hard. And, he, and I was like, this car is impressive. So if I didn't even know about it and I was invited to this thing and I drove it, then I would have thought, you know what? I am going to go look at this car. Yeah. I didn't even know this car existed. I didn't know it was this good. Um, so I think a lot of folks... A lot of things in life, right? Sometimes you don't even know about it. Yeah. And then you try it and you're like, I didn't even know this thing did this. Right now, if you tell, if you, if you, if we stopped somebody and we said, do you know what VinFast is? What would they say? Anybody. If you just stopped anybody. Even if you stopped the Tesla guy, what would they say? They've never heard about it. Yeah. Brand awareness oh, is still our thing. A lot of people, when I park the car, they look at it. I, I think because it's a pretty looking car and it's, it's orange. The color of the, um, <laughs> the and it's a good looking car, but it's orange. How many orange cars do you see? Yeah, so you don't. Uh, uh, they'll see it. The walk, the walk to the back to see what it is, and they'll ask me, what, "What's a Vinfast?" <laughs> and I go, "It's a Vietnamese EV." <laughs> so a lot of people don't even know about it. Yeah, so still. a lot of people that are shopping for cars, if they don't even know about you. You don't run commercials, right? There's no commercials? No. Um, how would I know that VinFast exists? Mm-hmm. Oops, hold on. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so mainly social media, marketing, and but, events. But, but I know about it because I went and looked at it. Yeah. And, and, uh, oh, uh, and even, even, even when I started looking three months ago, typically I go to like Edmunds or Cars.com or something, and they list all the EVs. VinFast wasn't there. They weren't even, yeah. you haven't, Whoever's job it is to, it's got to be somebody's job. It, every car company has a person that's assigned to talk to the media and right. give them cars right. so that they review them, right? Everybody has that. Maybe yeah. Vinvest doesn't have that. But I would look at some of those things and they would list all the other brands, but they wouldn't list Vinfest. So if I didn't know about you guys, oh, you kept emailing me because I, I had a deposit. Right. You kept send, sending me the, the latest quote, right? Every yeah. time you lower the price, you would send me a, oh, yeah, Vinfest, I remember. That. The car's not even available. Um, but yeah. so I would say you, you need more any product in, in the world it's marketing right you have to let people know that this product is this because sometimes they don't even know about it yes and I think once they drove it so I've driven my car and my brother's Tesla Y back to back this is a better car it just it's heavier right it's a thousand pounds heavier than the than this Y it just feels better even on the forum people tell you that that this car doesn't drive really well because it's really light and the way it's suspended. Yeah. It just feels like a really light car. Yeah. This car drives better because it's a, it's a thousand pounds heavier than that car is. Um, so let people drive it back to back. And then once they see this feature, um, so I would, sometimes for my salespeople, I, I would put together things that I wanted them to make sure that our customers would look at. So when they would go out and do a demo, I would say you need to make sure that you do this, you do yeah. this, you do this, and you do this. Mm-hmm. Make sure. I don't care what else the customer asks you to do. Make sure you show them these four things. Right. So the first thing I would do is I would get in the car, forget all the features. I would ask the person, do you mind if we Android Auto CarPlay your car? Mm-hmm. Most people would say, most people would be a little concerned. They're like, no, no, no. We can erase it everywhere. Don't worry. Information yeah. So I would do that, do that, sync. People would say, wow. I don't care what car they have. If they see how quickly you can sync up to this, yeah. I, I don't know if I can sync up my. Can I? It's it's gonna ask me for a code. Yeah. Um, but you you know you know you know how to do it, right. So I would show them to this. So that. That makes sense. I mean. That's... So they because all of us have CarPlay or Android. That's what we do all day, right? We're going places. Android. We're doing things. We're texting messages. We've got calendars. I mean. 
isn't that what we do all day long? You know, we got kids that we have to pick up. We, I need, I need my information right here yeah. while I'm driving so that I can see that. Yeah. Um, and if your car doesn't have that, so people that drive Teslas, how do they check their calendars? They have their phone right here, right? They're checking sure. their calendar on, yeah. on this tiny little phone. Um, how do they text? Well, it's got to be connected and all that. And so I would show them that first. So yeah. I'm going to pay a consumer would see that and they would say, wow, that was so incredibly easy. My car has problems. I can't do it that simple. So, right? So this is their life, right? These two things are their life. So they see that that feature works. So they're already, they're already almost impressed, right? Yeah. Because you show them to them. Um, hold on. Don't come on. Just for fun, yeah. I would keep the heads-up display all the way down. Yeah, we could turn right yeah. up here as well. at the light. Next one. Yeah, I would. You, you, you gotta do a little theater, right? When, when you're when you're when you're demoing yeah. things. Yeah. Be so a, I a would leave the heads-up display off, right? Yeah. And then I would I would turn it on, and they would see the the you know they would see the speed, and I would go, Do you mind giving me your home address? You don't have to give me the exact number. Just you know, if you live at 18 Vista Colinas, give yeah. me you know, say one Vista Colinas, and you would just you because they're already Android Auto. You would type it in there and you go, you're, you're, you're connected, right? Okay. Yeah. Put it in your address. Put your work address in there. They would put it in. You would go, hit directions. And then it would pop up right here, right? Yeah. It would pop up right there. Like, oh, you see? Uh, I mean, how can I, uh, what do I have here? Uh, I must have some and food and drink. Let's say that, okay? Right? Donuts. So navigate. There we go. Boom! Right there. You show me somebody that sees that and is not impressed with that. Yeah. All right? So first you show them that it's easy to connect. Then you show them that it's easy to do that. And then you would say, oh, what a wonderful day. I, don't, I mean, no, no, open both. Yeah, open both. Theater, right? You're like, duh, duh, look at this. I mean, isn't that... Who doesn't like an, who doesn't like an open roof, right? No, open both, okay, I'm not familiar. Right, okay. Do, do, just those three things would be impressive, mm -hmm. and then to then to close the deal, we would do a little bit of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, uh, self driving. Yeah. Right. So I would I would put in the little thing. There's a little there's a little thing. The car drives all by itself, and then somebody's going to drift over a little bit. They're going to see the little red line right there, yes. right in front of you, and then you would explain to them. That, that little speed limit there, that's there. I don't think Tesla does that as well. Or they, or they, they don't do it well. Yeah, no, no. Um, like they, they do it differently because of their full driving. Hey, yeah. I, you don't see Hummers oh, all the time. Not, not the EV one. Oh, that's not a brand a new one too. Yeah. Um, and you would explain to them that the sign that you say there can be controlled by... This little feature. You're never going to get a speed ticket ever again because this thing will tell you. It flashes at you when you're speeding. It, 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 when you're selling, right? Is that is that not something that would help you in your daily life? You're like, yes, I would. Um, after you show them all those features, and let's let's say that they tell you they're looking at a Tesla, right? Oh, I'm looking at a Tesla. What? Excellent, wonderful car. Ne you never talk bad about a competition, right? It's the first thing they told me. That's okay. my boss when I first got okay. I don't care if it's the crappiest product in the world. You always say. That's a great, great choice. Yeah. Tesla, wonderful car. And then you showed them all these things that you know they can't get in a Tesla. And then to seal the deal, because that's what all salespeople do, car salespeople, you go, just out of curiosity, have you priced out one of those Tesla Ys? Yeah. Yes, yes, I have. I went to their website. That's very easy and simple. How much is it? Ah, $600 a month, $3,000 a month. Wonderful, great car. This car's $339. <laughs> Price, yes. $3,000, whatever, $2,000 a month. And, and it's almost like in the movies, right? You, you just you just say that and you just... You wait. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. Yes. Just wait. Sales technique. My boss will say that. Just wait. Yes. Yeah. Let them think about that. Where's the, where's the fire truck? You just showed him all these things that he can't, he or she can't get in the Tesla Y. You know that they can't get it. And it's almost $300 less a month. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but I, don't, I could use, I could do better things with $300 a month every month. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Unless you got money to burn, then sure. You know, <laughs> go buy a Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> Evan, uh, last last question. My, my neighbor has an Urus. He's got an orange Urus. It's oh, like wow. the only orange Urus in the whole neighborhood. 
la last question I want to ask you, Evan. Yes. That, that, as, as a as a yeah, as I a VFA know. owner, what do you I think don't. about the uh, uh, what do you think about the, the accident that uh, happened back I, in? I, uh, I, 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 I say that. Oh, I'm sorry. In, in North Carolina. Yeah. North so, Carolina. So, it, yeah. Share some, you know, from uh, your yeah, perspective. Yeah, I want to hear your thoughts as well. It's a great Obviously, question. Obviously. Somebody in Vietnam, it's, it's just like in the movies. Somebody saw that accident and they're just going, F me. <laughs> yeah, really. Why does it have to happen now? I mean, yes, and I think the somebody put out an Left official. Is. Where are we going? Left. Okay. Uh, I think somebody from VinFast put out an official press release or something. Yeah. You know, yes, we feel sorry and all that, as, as you should, right, yeah. to say that. Um, but I saw something. So obviously the car... So I know that it wasn't his car. Um, the guy posted on NHTSA that the car was having problems. Even the guy's looking at looking at the car. See, he's like, "What is that car?" <laughs> um, um, he posted that it had problems. And yes, I, I think when I first got the car and I didn't know about the emergency lane, even I noticed that it pulled a little bit hard. Um, I'm the kind of driver I don't drive like this. I don't drive like this. I. I've driven Corvettes. Johnny O'Connor would tell me 10 and 2 all the time. Mm -hmm. So if I have my hands like this all the time, when the car pulls really hard, I'm going to catch the steering wheel. It's not a big deal. But when I first got my VF8, it did pull a little bit hard because that's what the emergency... That's what that's supposed to do. That's what... That is supposed to... If you're drifting into the other lane, it's supposed to bring you back and save your life. By all means, granted. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the software is designed to make a default to that. So if I'm not familiar with the car, as the gentleman that died, um, George, I think it was his last name, if he's not familiar with it, and maybe he was, uh, he lived around there, so he's familiar. He lived on. So when, when, when you're familiar with, with where you're driving, how do you drive? Do you pay a lot of attention or you just relax when you're driving around your neighborhood? Relaxed, you relax because you're familiar with this. So maybe you're not holding the steering wheel. Maybe you're not paying attention. Maybe you're just distracted. Maybe you're chatting with your kids. Maybe you're chatting. With... So all these things that could have happened, and maybe uh, I know but they haven't. They haven't said what model it was. Whether it's a, I haven't seen that. Maybe you, you guys might know, but they they haven't said if it was a city edition. If it's a 23, Eco if it's a 24, plus. if it's an Echo, yeah, if it's a Plus. Know, nothing, so. They haven't said that. Yeah. Um, I think you took back all the city editions, correct? Mm -hmm. If I if I understand correctly? So it wasn't a city edition. Um, uh, when you drive a car that's not yours, a friend lets you borrow the car, how do you drive that car? Me personally, I I take more care of you it. You would take more care because yes. you don't know anything about that car. You don't know how they set it up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you would be very very careful driving the car. Personally, I would not. If you let me borrow your car, whatever car you have, let's say it's something other than VF8, I borrow your car. I would not, and I'm not familiar with your car. I would not put my wife and my children in a car that I'm not familiar with. And the guy had a Tesla X at the house, right? That's what that's what the the press release said. If you're going to do something that you're not familiar with, should you endanger your family True. while you're doing that? True. Personally, if I'm going to do something that I'm not familiar with, I don't take my wife and child to the racetrack in my Corvette. That, if if I did that, what would you say to me? You go, Ivan. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> take your wife and child to the grace track oh and you're driving a different car that you're not familiar with yeah. so th there's so many variables that could have happened we could take a u-turn unfortunately uh, let's take a left oh, we're yes. probably just gonna park no, yeah left here. here yes uh, not not unfortunately not the best not the best thing to happen right now when you're when you're hurting for sales um let's park over there across the street for now across the street okay. yeah so, so if I was, uh, if I was, uh, now, how do you, say, just like, just like Hollywood, or how do you manage a, uh, how do you manage a, uh, a, uh, a unfortunate event? How do you spin it, right? How do you, how do you put a spin on it? Um, well, the NHCSA is investigating, right? They've already opened a formal up in the investigation. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, you got to wait for them to finalize, it. determine what's happened. Uh -huh. Right. Um, who's caught the problem? Yeah. If somehow they say that 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 that. 
this was the cause of the accident. Let's say that, yes, that caused the accident. The software engineer should have never let that enable it. Maybe that's, maybe that's what caused the accident, right? We don't, we don't, that's what they're saying. People are saying that this, oh, the guy that posted online, he, you, you saw that the owner posted on NHCSA. The owner of that car posted on NHCSA huh. two or three days later huh. after they died that the car was having problems. Whoops, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, have, yeah. You, have you seen that? No, I didn't, I didn't so see the, that. So the, the owner of the car, that's what people are thinking. The owner of the car, just go to NHCSA, type yeah. in VinFast VFA, you'll yeah. see, you'll see, a, you'll see a, one, of, one of the latest ones, two or three days after they died. You can't see the VIN number, but the guy's describing the accident. I think the co-worker. So, so people are saying that that's the owner of the car. It's anonymous, right? Right. So he went online and he complained about it. He's, he's saying that he's complained about this before. And um, I think on NHCSA, there's only about eight or 12 complaints and maybe four or five are, are the images in the lane. Yeah. So people are saying, yes, the car just, the car just grabs it um, and all that. Yeah. If the NHCSA says that, yes, that caused a problem, just like Tesla just did a recall yesterday. What, 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 what's the latest recall? Um, the appropriate thing for VinFast to do, corporate, would be to immediately put all the resources and rewrite the software or modify it so that that feature is either gone yeah. or not enabled. Somebody said to me, on one of the websites, they said what they should do is forget all the factories and forget all the stuff. Fix the software. Fix this thing that I can't save it. Put more engineers right. on this right. because maybe that's what caused the problem. So that, that's a tough PR thing to do. Um, oh, but so, so, so somebody said, well, yes, the people died in the car. And somebody said, well, yes, it's, it's, it's just a few miles away from Fremont, right? It's not that far away. Mm -hmm. Google it. There's a website called Tesla Fires. There's a guy that catalogs all the Tesla Fires. There has to be a lot that I'm sure. I read about oh, too. There's, there's the three, 800 the three, fires. There's yeah, hundreds of oh, deaths. Wow. A Hundred lady death. died in a Tesla Y just south of where that gentleman died, like four or five miles away, yeah. six months wow. ago. They're like, they're like, it's it's not something that doesn't happen. This lady died. Six, yeah. her, the lady, it, it, you just Google it. The lady, the lady and, and her and her daughter died in a brand new Tesla Y. Yeah, I read about uh, it. The, tes the Tesla X that that billionaire backed up because she hit the wrong thing, right? In Texas? Yeah, I remember The lady, that. she backed that. up and died because she drowned? The billionaire? Uh, yeah. She was an yeah. Asian lady, right? I mean, it, it's people crazy. are saying it's it's not... It, it, it's... Yes, uh, I'm, I'm thinking people in, in in Vietnam, in... Is it Hanoi? Hanoi, where the factory is? Yes. They're just thinking, why right now? Yeah, no, <laughs> not the time. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, so, for example, here, right? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in reverse. It won't yes. let me. It won't let me. Uh, so we gotta pull that nobody waiting for me. Nope. So yeah. I love this, right? Yeah. See, I'm gonna hit that. That's gonna cost me money. Yeah. And how do you feel when you scratch your tire? The worst. Ah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Corvette tires are fifteen hundred dollars a tire, a Your wheel. Man, yeah. I love yeah, the I love, I love the Corvette Stingray. Look at that. Look at that. Me too. Look at that. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, this is not an easy spot to just pull into because it's a smaller parking. Small, and a compact. Car, so. Yeah. And I can see that I'm perfectly centered. Yeah. You tell me your car can do that. Yeah. Your car cannot do that. No. Not well, that well. I don't care how <laughs> I don't care how good your Tesla is. You can't do that. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. Thanks Thank for you, the time. So, what's your name, sir? Michael. Michael John. Your name? Nice John. to meet you. Nice meeting you. Thank you, sir. Look at that parking job. It's perfect. You, you have a great driver. Thanks again for your time, sir. Appreciate it. I'm not a great driver. The car's a great driver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're a great, uh, you're a great pilot. About the car. You have a nice aircraft right, here. The, the, the rear, pilot. I may not have. Uh, it's okay. We're moving that perfectly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the car. I don't. If I can somehow get the power lift gate installed up, you know, aftermarket, then I'll be really happy. The funny thing about that is like one of my customers at the time, she had to get a plus because she couldn't reach the trunk. <laughs> People that are shorter, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so she had to get the plus, so she loved it. Wait. And it wasn't a money thing because... Uh, hiện Michael đang đứng ở trên cái đại lộ Garden Grove và Gilbert. Hiện nay là giữa ngày buổi trưa, 
thứ bảy 6, 1 tháng 6 2024 à, có sự kiện bên phát cà phê và lái xe thử VF8 và trải nghiệm xe VF9 màu đen đăng động. Mời các bạn theo dõi tiếp tục. Hello, Anne. Hello, Anne. Okay, are you ready? I am okay. ready. 